Am I in danger of becoming a false prophet? A blessed Wednesday to all. This is our reflection for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. There was a mango tree in our yard in Bacoor City that simply refused to bear fruit. And when it did, the mangoes were small and rather tasteless. The tree seemed matured enough, but it was stunted, and upon closer scrutiny, I found that the lower trunk was exposed and decaying very slowly. Some form of disgusting sap was oozing in the exposed cavity, while ants and other insects seemed to be feeding and burrowing its way deeper inside. I determined that it will be better to cut down the tree if the state continued and there will only be more bad fruit in the future before the tree eventually die. So I decided to try and save the tree by carving out the rotten interior until the fresh wood appeared. I also cut off the dead or useless branches and burned the affected tree parts so as to prevent anything infectious from reaching the tree again. Afterwards, I covered all the exposed parts with plastic sealant to keep offending insects from feeding off the tree. I also made sure to smoke the tree to help it heal itself. In a matter of months, the tree was able to recover, and two years after, we were able to harvest sweet and luscious mangoes from the otherwise bad tree. In today's Gospel reading, our Lord Jesus Christ gave us much warnings about false prophets through examples that are rich in imagery. He likened false prophets to trees that bear bad fruits. A tree does not go bad overnight. Rather, decay tends to begin from within, and it takes time before it becomes evident. Outward appearances may appear to be good, but interior rot will develop ever so slowly until the tree is not capable anymore to develop further, resulting to loss of growth and fruitfulness. As the Lord Jesus called us to discipleship, we are to be discerning of the ways by which the enemy will turn us into false prophets. Popular messages that come across in social media may have a certain appeal, though they may not be true to the gospel. Some predict doom and gloom, while others present a more liberal agenda. Genuine prophets teach the authentic way of Christ, but many false teachers in the human story proclaim their own message. We are reminded to be alert and attentive so that we can reflect and discern what is true. If we are not vigilant in screening out the falsehoods that lead to small infractions that we consistently make, or if we opt to nurture grudges and resentments, or if because of our unruly emotions we lose direction, something small and insidious creeps in, burrows itself deep within and they begin to take us off course. We may be the last person to know that we have become the false prophet that Jesus had been warning us from. On the other hand, growth in goodness is evident. We have the potential for good, and the Lord desires we develop it. By our fruits, others will know us. We grow if we are well tended in education, in family, in love. We grow when we mind and nourish ourselves with the food and drink that do not ruin the body. 
then the fruit is seen and others can enjoy and benefits from our lives. How we mind others in turn has its effect for many years. May the Lord of the Orchard continue to guide us that we may become bearers of good fruits to live life to the full and have it in abundance. Let us pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, I praise you for your goodness. Give me an experience of your heart. Draw me deep into your very being, into the core of your love for me, others, and the world. Help me to become a good tree so that others might partake of the good fruit that I will bear in your name, so that I too might be a useful channel of your love in the world. This we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ and our Catholic faith.